We begin our epic 2022 cross-country road trip in Florida, as we usually do. In this first installment, we're going to visit Tarpon Springs, a charming town on the Gulf Coast with a rich Greek heritage. Then, a bucket list oceanfront RV resort on the Atlantic coast. One of those you have to do at least once. So, buckle up and enjoy the ride. Our 2022 transcontinental road trip, which eventually will follow the route of the Lewis and Clark expedition, begins now. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I Cause I'm free in my RV, yeah. Well, yeah, our main reason for coming here to Clearwater was to, to visit the Lithionics factory, which we did a great tour. I'm going to put a little clip here, and uh, but that's, that's going to be a different video. But since we're here in the Clearwater area and Tarpon Springs is like a stone throw away, well, there's a little bit of traffic, but it's not too far. Let's go to Tarpon Springs. It's, a, it's, a, it's always a, a fun town, Tarpon Springs, and um, with the Greek heritage, and, and they have the, the, the historic sponge docks there that are very nice. So enjoy the ride. There's supposed to be a little bit of traffic going there, but not too bad. Here we are. This is Dodecanese Boulevard, the main drag. They have all kinds of shops, many of them selling sponges and souvenirs. Here, on the right, we have the historic sponge docks. At one point, one of the town's largest industries, still alive to this day, although on a smaller scale. Our plan for today? Not very ambitious. We just want to walk around a little bit, maybe get something to eat, and that's about it. Well, here we are, Tarpon Springs, famous uh, town here with a, you know, Greek heritage. Of course, they have all these speakers, you know, playing a, a Greek music, and uh, and in front of every shop, you know, people soliciting for you to buy stuff. You know, it's that kind of town, very touristy, but uh, the Greek heritage is is authentic, is real. So, um, you know, we're probably going to have some Greek food, buy some sponges and, uh, and explore a little bit. They're selling all kinds of souvenirs here on the sidewalk. You know, hats, shirts, and that's Hella's Bakery. Mmm, very delicious. Which, by the way, we've been here before. Last time we actually ate at this place, Hella's. It was really good. Uh, we'll see if uh, we, can, we can come here later. And these are, of course, the, the famous sponge docks here with all the, the vintage boats where this whole sponge industry started, really. Turtle, you have a shark. <laughs> My name is Rico. His name is Rico. He was an elephant. There's a song there somewhere. Poseidon, perhaps? I think he's missing the fork. How can I say Christmas in April? The sponges. So yeah, it's it's an Easter tree, not a Christmas tree. I just saw the bunny. Actually, Illy pointed out the bunny. Strange. Yeah, I don't recall this being here the last time we were here, so maybe this place is kind of new. I don't know. I think we're gonna go have an IPA. There's a brewery here somewhere. Oh yeah, that was good, that was a good IPA. Pretty cool place.
Check it out, it's a smiley face. When's the last time you saw an emoji made out of sponges? I've always wanted to get me a natural sponge. What do you guys think? Fine. Coming to you from the future. Well, the present actually. I want to tell you about our longtime sponsor, Surfshark VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. Um, keyword here, private. It creates a private secure connection between your devices and the internet. And that's essential. That's very important. If you're at a public Wi-Fi, you don't know somebody could be eavesdropping on that connection, maybe potentially stealing your passwords, your identity. And that's very important. Has other features like clean web, which gets rid of unwanted ads, you know, potential malware, a true incognito search for your privacy. And then my favorite, you can change your location virtually. Yeah, we're in a different place today. And uh, <laughs> all kidding aside, that's important if you want to consume content that is not available at your particular location. You can virtually teleport yourself pretty much anywhere on the globe. And that's, uh, that's very convenient if you, wanna, if you wanna have a true free web experience. Now I have a special offer for you guys. If you go to surfshark.deals slash myRV and you enter promo code myRV at checkout, you get 83% off and three months for free. Now, let's go back to Florida. All right, I think we're gonna do mamas here. I'm not sure who, but I'm pretty sure someone recommended this place at some point because I had it marked on my map. We got soup, we got fish. It's a Grecian uh, snapper. <laughs> the food was great, very good actually. But the service, there was something odd, almost unwelcoming, to be honest. It left me not wanting to return, but hey, maybe that's their way. Greek pelicans. Fly, pelican! By the way, there are plenty of dining options, so next time we'll try one of this. Next time, we also must get on a boat because you know there will be a next time, right? We really do have to do a whole season in Florida. Such elegance, such elegance! I feel a sudden urge to get some baklava. Well, we had to do it. We bought some Greek desserts because that's what you do at that Hellas bakery, which mm, I can't wait to try this. And with that, we're saying goodbye to Tarpon Springs for today, but we'll be back, we'll return. Yeah, this was a short visit, but we enjoyed it a lot. We, we even met with some viewers right now, so that's always great. All right, let's head back to the campground, to the RV park. Actually, before heading back, let's find some place nice to see the sunset. And Sunset Beach seems to be very aptly named for the task. Here we are, Sunset Beach. It is going to be one of those Florida sunsets. 
the ones that only the Gulf Coast can provide. And the Keys, of course. Very different from the desert ones, although both are very beautiful in their own magical way. We came back to South Florida for a few days, you know, get some final things ready, and now the trip officially begins. Our first stop, Pelicamp, our North Florida retreat. Well, here we are embarking on a new adventure. The spring-summer trip of 2022 begins. Our path will be inspired by, by the journey of Lewis and Clark, but not entirely. We're gonna, you know, have maybe one Lewis and Clark episode, one just detour episode, and eventually we'll make it to the Pacific Ocean. That's the plan anyway. So, uh, this first episode, we're just gonna stop by Pelicamp, then we're going to the beach, and then, um, We'll continue on the journey north and then west. Well, good morning and greetings from Pelicamp. We arrived yesterday afternoon. We didn't do much. Actually, by the way, I found a better location for... I'm calling it Pelistar. And uh, yeah, summer is here. I mean, actually, it's kind of cool in the mornings, but summer is here. The vegetation is growing like crazy, except for the vegetation that I want to grow myself, for example. Yeah, the azalea did not survive. It hasn't rained. You know, I planted it, I watered it while I was here, but it hasn't rained, so... And the other plants are on life support right now. I'm gonna water them a lot uh, while we're here, which is for the next, like, two hours, and then we're going to La Playa. Yes, I, I've, been, I've been wanting to go to the beach for a long time. And here's a mini tiny one, still shining, not as much. But um, here's the deal, in about three months, they're coming with a big structure like, like what my neighbor has. Big structure there. Oh, we have a... Look, we have a little bunny rabbit. Oh, you can't see it. Yeah, we're gonna put a big structure like he has right here. So, you know, we protect it from the elements because it's, it's already getting, you know, dirty. Which is no good. Um, well, I'm gonna mow this a little bit here so so there's more room and uh and then off we go so this is what i'm trying to do i'm trying to position mini tiny one in the middle of its site and as exactly perpendicular to the property line as possible as a guide of sorts for when they come to install the carport i think that's close enough I'm going to clear a little more, even though I might have to do it again by the time they come with the carport. Well, 
live in Pelly Camp once again an hour behind schedule which is not bad actually considering all the stuff that I wanted to do <laughs> uh, I even washed uh, some of the love bugs off of uh, Mini Tini 3 here and now we won't return for another three months or so, so we're gonna spend uh, two days in the east coast of Florida in the Atlantic Ocean and then we start going north Let's go. This is one of my favorite areas of Florida and some of the best beaches on the Atlantic coast. Flagler Beach. This stretch of A1A, well, it goes right along the coast, which is almost as straight as an arrow in these parts. flock of pelicans is our welcoming committee. How perfect is that? We have arrived at Beverly Beach Camp Town. Let's check in and go to our oceanfront site. We made it. I want you to take a look at this place and this has been in the bucket list and the, in the unofficial bucket list for a very long time. Take a look at this place. This is called Beverly, Beverly Beach Camp Town. And this is here, at, you know, just north of Flagler Beach. It's a little bit of a windy day. I don't know how warm that water is gonna be, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to, to get in the water. But, well, of course, right now they're not gonna fly, but we've seen pelicans flying all over the place. This, 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 this place is amazing. So, um, yeah. Very happy to be, you know, to be commencing uh, this uh, spring summer uh, 2022 trip in this way. This is awesome. Let's go down to the sand. Many of you know I love the beach. And for someone who has lived in Miami almost 34 years, I don't get to do it often enough. It smells fishy down here, but let me tell you, it is such a treat to be just a few feet away from, from the Atlantic Ocean. Minitini 3, right up there, kind of lonely there. I have a feeling it's gonna be cold, but I'm gonna dip my feet in the water anyway. Yeah, it is a little bit choppy and cold, but I'll be fine. Run, little bird! We're, by the way, using Starlink's portability feature. And at a place like this, it works great. No obstructions of any kind. The sand is made up of I guess it is coquina, with all these tiny pieces of seashells. I'll tell you something, nothing has ever been written about cowards, so I'm going to get in the frigid waters of the Atlantic. Well, not so frigid, it is supposed to be like 75 degrees Fahrenheit, but you know I'm a tropical guy, so this is cold for me. I'll be the first to admit it's a little bit choppy to, for, for comfort, you know. And first impression, it is pretty cold. But once you get in and you start frolicking in the water, it's actually not too bad. Just it is, as you can see, the waves are a little bit on the choppy side. But what can you do, right? I'm still very, very enjoyable. You know, you guys know I, lo I love the beach. I love a good beach and I mean, it's not the most pristine, crystalline water, but it's, it's fine. I don't mind for a little bit. Here it 
sounds like. There you go. Well, that was certainly a lot of fun, especially since we might be getting bad weather tomorrow. And as the day comes to an end, we're just going to relax, maybe get some work done. Well, this is certainly the right way to work, huh? Yeah, spoiler alert, it won't last. Not necessarily the best stargazing conditions, considering the light pollution and some clouds, but it was so great to go to sleep to the sounds of the ocean. looks like Jupiter. Fly, pelicans! It's time for another RV cooking show and yeah, I haven't used this camera angle in a while so we're gonna do some fantastic breakfast and we're gonna do a, a you know like like a scrambled eggs with mushrooms onions I'm gonna fry some bacon first so we get the bacon you know the that bacon fat it's good if I can find the bacon It's on. I'm gonna make one side more mushroom heavy since I like mushrooms a lot and the other side is gonna be more onion heavy since Illy likes onions a lot and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be like super good. Uh, we, we gotta put some cheese. Once again, breakfast with a view, and it has turned out to be a little bit of an overcast day. Still, such a privilege to wake up to this. We even have dolphins. The east coast of Florida is almost perfectly straight in these parts. And we've got another flock of pelicans down there. And uh, I am surprised at how empty the front row is. Not that I'm complaining.
pelicans, dolphins. What else could we want? A little bit of sunshine would be nice, but I guess you can't have everything. Time to get back and land the drone. And it looks like the sun's coming out. I got my wish. It's going to be one of those lazy days. I didn't even shave. We're having some burgers. Almost ready, almost. Mmm, bon appetit. Yeah, we forgot to buy hamburger bread, so it is what it is. I don't know if you noticed, but we lost most of our ocean view. Oh, well, it figures. Now that I showered and, you know, changed into, you know, fresh, clean clothes and all that. Look at the weather now. I, I kind of feel like going back into the beach, but you know, I had my, I had a lot of fun yesterday, and I did go in the in, in the water when it was great, so no regrets. Which, by the way, we have a neighbor, and when you have a neighbor, it uh, it is kind of tight, to be honest about it. Luckily, we don't have one on this side yet. We just got the that airstream that just arrived uh, uh, early this afternoon, but if we had uh, someone right next to us. I mean, we would be like right next to each other. So that's the one negative of, about this place is, you know, sites are tight, which is usually the case when you have this view, right? So, fly pelicans! Being by the ocean is such a relaxing experience. So close to downtown Flagler Beach that might as well, right? Let's go for a ride. With our ocean view. Partial ocean view now. We're obviously not very hungry, but we're gonna pick some place at random out of the many recommendations we have. And maybe have an appetizer, and a tropical drink, because that's what we are in the mood for. We decided to go for the Golden Lion Cafe here. We order some tropical drinks. Let me tell you, it is a pretty cool place. They have live music, which is always a plus. And we also order some fish bites. Thank you. Oh, this was nice. I hadn't had a tropical drink in a long time. It was super sweet, but it was good. We gotta come back and have like a regular, you know, dinner. <laughs> and we found oceanfront parking. Yeah, Flagler Beach is such a cool place. Good beach, nice people, decent food. We've been here before and we'll definitely be back again. But now let's go back to Minitini 3. Sunset is upon us. Well, this was a fun little escapade here. This place, good ambience. The frozen drinks, as I said, a little too sweet. We're not used to that anymore. And uh, the fish, the texture was outstanding. But there, was, there wasn't a whole lot of taste to the fish itself. Their key lime uh, tartar sauce was, was pretty good. 
That is something I have found in many places. They kind of rely on the tartar sauce for flavor, instead of seasoning the fish itself. But the combination of the crunchy batter, the tender fish, and that key lime tartar sauce was delicious. Our time here has been way too short. At over $160 per night, this is definitely a luxury. But if you are a beach lover, it might be worth every penny. I definitely want to return. Perhaps an extra couple of nights, one of these days. Sometimes it is good to spend a couple of days by the ocean, not doing much. We did work, of course, while we were here, but it was much more pleasant to do it to the sound of the crashing waves. Oh, here they come. The only thing I don't like about the East Coast in this case, the sunsets happen on the wrong side. Here they come again. I think this was a perfect way to begin our long 2022 spring-summer trip. comes the sun once again. It is a brand new day. Most of the time, these sunrises are worth waking up early for, even if it is cloudy over the horizon. Well, it is time for us uh, to depart with a heavy heart this idyllic place. And let me tell you something, timing is everything. And in this case, lack thereof. Today it kind of feels like the first real beach weather day here at Beverly Beach. And uh, you know, we have to depart, we have to go. We were going to Savannah. So um, I don't know if that's gonna be in this episode or the next one, but in any case, thank you for watching. And see you on the road, we continue driving to the north. There should be a song about that. Yes, today we're going to Savannah. And you're gonna say, Robert, weren't you just in Savannah with your mom? Indeed, but there is more to Savannah than just pretty squares and antebellum mansions. So this time around, we're also going to explore the rest of Savannah, if you will. But that will be on the next episode. Until then, once again, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road.